Hi everybody, it's Gail, the Happy Stamper. Hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I wanted to share with you some things that I've been working on. I uh, haven't been down in my craft room a whole lot, but I uh, have been doing some fun projects and I thought I would pop in and say hi and show you what I have been creating. But first I wanted to share with you this amazing, awesome Valentine's Day card that I got from my friend Valerie, who lives out in Apache Junction, Arizona. Hi, honey. How are you? You are always so sweet. She always, always, for whatever the holiday is, sends me the cutest little cards. I just love them. So this is a Z-fold card, or sometimes I call it an S-fold, but it's the sweetest little Valentine's Day card. Isn't that adorable? She's so nice. Such a nice lady. Love the papers. Love the stickers here. I have to try to use that more in cards that I make. And then she included this really sweet 10 Ways to Love. Um, and these are Bible verses that you can find. And she also gave me um, where I can look them up. For example, listening without interrupting, Proverbs 18. Speaking without accusing, James 1, 19. So she has these all listed, and I love that. So thank you, Valerie, so, so much. That was so thoughtful. I love the little heart punch with the circles that she used. I'm going to keep that um, tucked into my Bible, and then I can take it and share it at Bible study, too. So thank you so much, Valerie. That came at a wonderfully perfect time. And in theme with Valentine's Day, I thought I'd share with you the card that I made for my husband, and he really liked it. And this is a big card. This is like eight by eight by five and a half, um, and it simply was an eight and a half by eleven that I folded in half, and um, I did some Copic coloring, as you can see, and. I also used, this is a Greeting Farm set, Sitting Casual. This is the little boy. I think his name is Edward. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a fun set, and it's nice for, um, you know, guys in your life uh, to sort of make them feel a part of the whole crazy stamping world. And then on the inside, never underestimate the power of two. And I love this. I freaking love you. Isn't that so cute? I love those. Um, and that comes from the Stamping Up Yippee Skippy set. And I just love this. I freaking love you. That's so cute. Love it. So that was the Valentine's card that I made for my hubby. And this was an old Martha Stewart paper pack and then I just punched some little circles that were in some of the images and I embossed the background red paper. I don't know if you'll be able to tell but I used a heart embossing folder and then I also used um, my Lacy Heart uh, Martha Stewart punch. So that was fun. So that was a card that I made using the Greeting Farm set. And then I also made, I have a dear friend who is having some trouble right now uh, with her husband, and I feel really bad for her, so I thought I would send her a little gift, and um, it's a book by, I don't know if any of you guys have read anything from La Max Locuto, but I really like him. He's along the line of Joyce Myers, Joel Olstein that kind of a thing, but it's called You'll Get Through This, Hope and Help for Your Turbulent Times by Max Lucado, and it's just, it's a great book. I read it, um, you know, and it just, it's a nice, easy read, nothing too heavy, uh, but it's a nice book, and so I wanted to get that for her, and then I also made a, hopefully this will be not too big of a bookmark, but a bookmark for her nonetheless. Um, just to let her know I'm thinking of her. And I used my Prima Dolls. I used some pretty laces that, gosh, and some tool that I had that people have sent to me and things that I had. I used my Prima Tags as the base. 
and I use some cute little charms. It's a little blue charm. There's a little Eiffel Tower. If I can get that over there. Oh, goodness. A little key. There's the Eiffel Tower. And I added a little sparkle to her crown and I stamped along the side here. She looked oh so wee wee. Um, so I did kind of a little French Parisian theme. And I colored her with my Copic markers. I used my paper piecing from my En Francais Prima Collection 6x6 pack. Added a little bow from a kit that I bought from, I think it's Kelly C.A. or C.A. Kelly. Um, I got that from her a while ago. I was going to use it for uh, my daughter's um, scrapbooking. So I just added some little embellishments, added some paper behind there, added a rosette. This again is so pretty, and I got that from California Kelly, I believe, or Kelly and um, added more of the lace trim down here and some pink and then some beige. So I'm going to send that off to my girlfriend and hope that that lets her know I'm thinking of her. And that was using the Prima Dolls. This was number one um, with the crown. So I'm not sure if they officially have names, but that's the one I used and then I had also previously picked up the borders and this is the one that I used right up here she looked oh so French wee oui, wee oui. I like that and I can't wait till I get some of the other dolls because they're really really cute and then I still have got a few minutes I'll show you what I've been working on I've been doing my daughter's sweet 16 um, scrapbook pages and I'm having a great time but it sure is a lot of work sorry I'm trying to get this in focus here and that's my girl she's a nice girl too um, but that's the first page I just added lots of flowers her dress was stunning just stunning really pretty this is another page this was the thank you card I made. This was the table and the dance floor. I guess I'll have to move this. Sorry guys if I'm making you dizzy. Maybe I'll just put it like that. I've got double page spreads, so it's kind of tough to get those in. But this one says, that's her, and it says her name, Elise. For you at the top and this will be a double pager this is the left side and it says beautiful happiness and some flowers and this is the right side I just alternated the direction of the papers and things and that's another one that was really fun great day great day I'll show you one more page and then I'll come back to um, a different video maybe tomorrow this is the right page and here is the left and I kept this really very simple and I used a rub-on that didn't work very well that says dream, but that's Elise and I. And I just added flowers and a doily at the top. And again, just mimicked on this page what I had on the left with the flowers and the doilies. So I hope that uh, gives you guys some ideas, things that I've been working on. Um, and with all this blistery snow, if you know somebody who's kind of down, send them a little card. I'm going to do that. One card every week, just for someone special. All right, guys. Thanks much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.